Hi everyone, welcome to Snokus, and this is another episode of Endless Space 2, um, which is a Let's Play series uh, which we are playing. So, uh, last time, um, quite a lot happened. We are uh, just about to colonize Imnos here with um, uh, with our colonization fleet, the uh, second heroic experiment. Holy shit, we lost another civilian fleet, which I explained last episode. Um, these uh, reavers are essentially just blockading our outpost here now. I think I got a bit of lag there. Um, so what are we going to do now? Uh, that's not what I meant to do. We're going to create these, this last fleet, then we're going to select all, merge, select all, merge, and... Um, We don't have a hero um, available, so we're just gonna go straight to it. They are not here anymore. Surprise, surprise. Um, I suppose they saw the threat on the horizon. <clears throat> so, uh, let's get more production and the food, shall we? For our hero here. Which means that our main system is gonna produce... It produces a whole lot already. Okay, so this one is amazing. Um, how much production does it need? 19 turns. So even though I do kind of want to rush it, we should wait with it. Uh, and we are gaining <laughs> 6 Hyperion per turn. That's amazing. Uh, it's particularly amazing because you do need it to upgrade some of your um, uh, weapon mo uh, ship modules. So it's quite nice to have. How many turns before this expires? Another seven turns? Sure, cool. Um, are we waiting for something? Yep, we are. We are waiting for our colonization ship to arrive and then we're gonna call life. So which one do you think is the best here? We should take something with at least some food. So we have to choose between a small tundra and a large tundra. So let's go with the large one. We've seen that. And it's gonna take 20 turns. And it isn't connected to anything, so that's kinda nice because that means it's gonna take a couple of extra, or at least one extra turn for enemy forces to arrive if they decide to get aggressive. We do have a defense force now, a defensive fleet, essentially. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get Xeno Linguistics next, which will allow us to exploit exploitate titanium, even though we can't, because we don't have any. And um, we also got a whole lot of um, dust improvements. Okay, so we are now amicable with them, and we are amicable, amicable with them as well. So let's see how this has changed. As you can see, we get a lot more bonus of <clears throat> buffs from them now so that's gonna be great which means it, it, it means we're gonna research even easier here um okay so one thing i really need to get here is galactic commodities i think yep this we need to sell and buy commodities which we're gonna need um Let's see here, do we need, do we want... Let's get a bunch of science, um, science technologies here. Um, Q field accelerator gives us fleet movement, but you do need a certain uh, resource which we are quite a bit away from getting um, okay so that one we do want eventually okay so let's get that one okay so we really want that one as well okay something like that uh, we shouldn't focus too much on science even though it is Essential, essentially. All right. Um, oh, 
Okay, so this is great. Um, we should focus on that. We we are gonna get the Deca Hall here. It's a protector. Um, it's small, unfortunately, but it is good. And this one uh, unlocks additional um, Hyperion slots, which is great because we uh, have Hyperion and nothing else. And then we could go for that one, but we don't have any titanium. Um, but we do need a couple of texts here to open up here. Adaptive biocracy. <laughs> I mean, that is nice. And only takes two turns to research, so sure. Should get this one as well, simply to um, get heroes quicker. And this is good for extra food, I guess we should take that as well. It's gonna be needed. Um, anything we need here? I guess that's good for... Honestly, I'm just going ham here because we do need a lot of defensive modules and ship modules in general, and also we do need more manpower. So you can see we are barely, barely getting by here. And uh, we, if we, even if we needed, we couldn't really uh, get get another, uh, get more um, ships, frankly. So let's uh, focus on getting this um, quest done. We have already orbited. Imnos, I'm guessing, is, is what um, triggered this uh, first. First, um, first requirement on the quest, so uh, just getting to uh, Grafias should be enough. Okay, um... Okay, so th this is where um, things start to get... Not annoying, but hard to manage. So, we do want to colonize this as soon as possible. How long will that take? It'll take... Um, well, a few turns. We... Uh, almost, but, uh, what, 15 turns? So, um, we should... Focus on getting our production up as soon as possible before in anything else. Um, something like that. Um, same on Indusa, we should get the Mega Industry consult Consultancy first, simply due to the extra production it'll bring. And the same on Megres. Alright, something like that. Which something that's actually surprising me, which we is we are is that we are getting um, a, quite a good of um, a good amount of dust, which uh, is surprising for a so fun empire. Which, which maybe just it's me I that um, that I played badly up till now. No idea really. Okay, so the Reapers are hanging out in our capital, that's fine for now. suppose we should send out our um, fleet to take care of them eventually. It's not really much they can do as of now. They can keep uh, blocking our civilian ships going to Oentho, but that's pretty much it, I believe. Fist and Shielding will get us um, new hull, hull um, ship hulls, which is essential. Okay, so we got some more um, dust improvements, good. Okay, so an election is coming up. We, um, we got some militarists, which we didn't have before. The ecologists have pretty much collapsed. We have some, uh, quite a lot more pacifists and um, same amount of uh, scientists, great. Cool. Uh, intergalactic supermarkets. Is is that a new a unique one? 
let's see here. Intergalactic Trade Claim Bureau. <clears throat> no, doesn't seem like it. We uh, will uh, queue it up anyway. Actually, I am. Um, I think because this had a frame, but I'm fairly certain this is like a silver frame or something, and it just means that you can only have it once in an empire. It doesn't have anything to do with uh, wonders and stuff like that, unlike these guys. Um, but yeah, efficient shielding, three more turns, then we'll, we'll uh, fuck about a bit with um, the ship hulls and create some, uh, some of our own. We don't have any titanium. We do have titanium. Shh. Our purpose is to kill. Fuck off. Okay, so they're wary of us. I guess we've um, outgrown them simply by building two extra ships, I guess. Okay, so new focus here. We need to get these guys to love us and then join us because we do need their freaking um, titanium. It's essential to be um, competitive with other factions, I believe, anyway. I suppose that could just be conjecture as well. Um, another thing we need, we need... Um, Yeah, this is uh, starting to become commonplace. Um, we need another incubator. This uh, extra colony is gonna... it keeps getting put off. Okay, so we... Um, we've discovered the academy, I guess. And we need to bring at least one explorer to the quest mark and we'll get a bunch of dust. We don't really need dust, but... Anyways, okay, so I guess we finished the other quest. Cool. Yeah, and now we get so fun free move, which um, is a support module which increases uh, movement points and vision range. So you know what? Let's fuck about with the hole already. Um, detector. How do you edit? Thanks. All right. Um. What I kind of like is that you can filter it like this. We already have a um, short to medium range uh, slug. So let's get a short range then. Uh, a long range, I mean. Medium to short. Iron torpedoes. Doesn't really seem like a scout kind of type of weapon, does it? Um, Okay, opal laser. Sounds good. This is gonna increase the cost for them, um, which is fine, honestly. Um, holy fuck. Improved probes. Um, what does this do? Movement points. Alright. Um, this is good. An extra movement point would be nice, but we've also got... The so fun free movement, which is the same amount of movement points, but also extra health and extra vision. So let's uh, try that out for a change. We're gonna apply the design. We're gonna. Can we upgrade? Retrofit. Okay, so what we need to do first is we need to um, go to a, back to a colonized system. It's going to take three turns, and then we're going to upgrade them, and then we uh, then we go. Then we go to uh, wherever the Gikra over here. The reason I I want to nice. So now we're going to get the focus. To, now we're going to go on to focus plasma, which is going to give us. A better defensive module and another defensive module. You know what? Thinking about that, it's only gonna be two turns, so I guess it doesn't really hurt. And it will 
uh, unlock the next level. Um, as I said, uh, as I was about to say, um, since we're gonna have to travel quite a bit here and it's gonna be through uh, hostile territory, I do want our ships to be as upgraded as they can, both in their ability to uh, travel fast and in um, their ability to survive attacks. Four turns until this is done. You know what? That's not true at all. Four turns until we uh, lose this colony. I did not mean to do that. Okay, I guess we should see if our um, detectors are able to... Rele relief, relieve um, the besieged outpost. Okay, so let's see the vote breakdown on the election. Seem like uh, much changed. The scientists are now entrenched, the pacifists are established, and the militarists are functional. Good. I'm not sure we can could actually beat these guys, so let's... Um, let's say a prayer to Owentho, and let's look forward. Uh, I'm gonna build an incubator here, which is gonna be placed behind the mega industry consultancy and after that we're gonna colonize cancer I know we have another incubator here which I suppose we could send to cancer this one I'm gonna send to Oshis Oshi I guess then or something we'll uh, I guess I guess we'll decide as it comes to it do want to simulate all of these minor factions as soon as possible, but I really do want to get the titanium quickly as well. But I know it's sunk cost fallacy and all, but um, I do believe we should focus on getting these two finished as soon as possible instead of um, uh, instead of uh, uh, headlining for uh, Scythe. Okay, um... We were supposed to upgrade these guys. Uh, can we do that? Retrofit. We can. Cool. Right. Um, now we have two new ships. We've got an accelerator, which looks identical to the detector. It really does, doesn't it? That's a bummer. All right, anyway, and the magnets. So let's uh, edit these two before we end the episode. They are quite loud. Okay, um, first of all, offensive. We've got short to medium and short to medium. That sounds fine, I think. I mean, they aren't amazing long range, but They are decent, I think. I was um, thinking of getting uh, basic iron torpedoes instead, but that would mean they would get useless on short distances if we only go for that. Although, you, you know what? Let's go for iron torpedoes on the side. And um, slugs on the top. Defensively. Uh, we've got a whole lot of basic plating and what's this movement points we're gonna rework that um, instead of one defensive plating let's get one shield they are a protector class um, after all and after this um, this gives movement points uh, three extra movement points so let's get the Hyperium engine instead, which gives the same cost one um, Hyperium, but also uh, provides with extra evasion. And that should be it. Now, that was the magnet, I believe. 
No. Right, I mean, I mixed up the um, accelerator and the magnets, but regardless. Um, you have high slugs, um, you only have one um, weapon slot, so we... You should stay behind though, so I'm gonna get you the laser instead. And to be more effective long range. You can still attack short range, but long range is better. And defensively. You have one. One slot. Health bonus, projectile defense. Health bonus, energy defense. I suppose projectile defense is more important. I guess this is also more of a... Um, uh, supportive class rather than actually protecting class, even though... Yeah. Um, because we can get a fleet movement points. Um, which is nice, but this is really not really a capital ship or flagship, so... I think we should um, save that for larger hulls. Um, we can get extra uh, kinetic damage or projectile damage, not really. What this ship is for. Repair ship after battle, that would be nice, but also this isn't meant to um, do a lot of damage. It, it isn't really meant to take a lot of damage, I mean. So, what we should do, we should get ship evasion just as the last ship. Maybe hold another one. And also, um, you know what, let's get the H field fleet accelerator. Um, to move to uh, speed up the whole fleet. Not a lot of damage, but a whole lot of defense, and it does speed up the fleet. And should be able to soak up damage due to um, uh, the um, ship evasion. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. Yep, let's apply that, and then. Um, I'm gonna build one of each here, one of each over here, we're gonna move them to the top, after the consultancy still, and I know that I have other things um, prioritized before that, but still, uh, this guy is gonna be built first, which is good I guess, because we can move them over to this system. Anyway, we've um, desperately ran out of time here, um, but it's been fun. I mean, this game just soak up um, your time when you play it. It's, uh, it's really fun, at least early game. And we, we haven't really encountered anyone except the... whatever, let's end the episode. Hopefully you liked it, uh, leave a like if you did, and if you liked this game as much as I do, and if you want to see more of it, it's uh, amazing having you guys watch me play it. It's, it's really fun. Hopefully. It's fun to watch me as well. Anyway, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And hopefully you have a nice day. And um, see you next time. Bye bye bye.